Cyber psychology is the study of the impact of technology on human behavior. Forensic cyber psychology considers criminal aspects of behavior online. How did you get into this line of work? <laughs> I first studied psychology back in the day. And I worked in industry for a number of years. And in the late 90s, I first came across artificial intelligence in form of a chatbot called Jabberwacky.com. Have you ever spoken to a chatbot? I would recommend it. And effectively, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. This, this learning algorithm that could talk to humans and mimic our behavior and, and build knowledge. And I began to think about people who are socially isolated or children with learning difficulties. And I thought, this could be fantastic. And then I thought, or maybe not. <laughs> and I really realized that nothing in my training as a psychologist to date or my study of psychology equipped me to understand the impact of technology on human behavior. So I started looking at the literature. I came across the work of John Suler, who's based at Ryder here in the US, who wrote about cyber psychology. And I thought, wow, that's the future. Everybody told me I was wrong. They said, cyber what? And I went back, back to college, back to do a master's of science, and back to do a full PhD in forensic cyber psychology. And I'm the first person at this point in time worldwide to come through with a doctorate in the area. Well, the internet is what, 20 years old? I mean, as far as uh, widespread use, what do we know about the effects of using the internet? And is this about the internet and being online? I think it's about all things cyber. So cyber pertains to any sort of digital device. I think we're learning. My concern is the impact on the developing child. So in 10 years time, I can tell you what happens when you give a toddler an iPad when they're six months old. But do we really have to wait? And in the meantime, can common sense not prevail? Or if an eight-year-old looks at hardcore pornography, what happens when they're by the time they're 18? So to a certain extent, I think the behavioral sciences have been blindsided by evolutions in technology. And I think there now is pressure in the behavioral sciences for people to requalify to actually be able to advise, advise parents and advise policymakers in terms of the impact of technology on humankind. And as a cyber psychologist, my aim is to deliver insight at that intersection between humans and technology. Or as law enforcement say, where humans and technology collide.